Hi everyone, I hope by now you're not getting too sick of seeing my face. Um, I've got yet another entree to make. I'm really on a roll, so when you're on a good thing, keep on doing it, right? Now, first of all, I'm going to make the sauce. So I've got about four uh, medium-sized Romana tomatoes, which I'm going to slice and dice now I'm going to be using one jalapeno. I've taken out the membrane and the seeds because that's where the heat is. And I've already chopped and diced it for you. Now I also have some onions, a red onion, that I've already peeled, chopped, diced it for you very finely. Because what I'm going to do with these three ingredients is I'm going to make a salsa with the Philadelphia cream cheese. So I'm going to add all that in together. Now I'm also slicing the uh, cremini mushrooms quite thinly and I'm just on the last one and that's done. The ingredients here to make the salsa, the onions, jalapeno and tomatoes and I'm going to put that all into a bowl and I'm also going to add the cream cheese into that. Now I'm just going to mix that all up really well. Now did I mention lemon juice? If I didn't, well that's going into the cream cheese as well. So that would be about a good tablespoon of lemon juice. I mean you can use the fresh ones if you like, but this is handy in the bottle. I'm also going to season it, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper, and this is how you want it. It's all nicely incorporated together, and we'll just leave that to sit for a little while, while we go ahead and do something else. Now, I've going to crack two eggs here. I'm going to just, before that, just very lightly beat this like so. Now I've got some garlic and herb breadcrumbs and we'll probably use about a cup of this for the amount that I want to make today. So I think that's about it. One cup of herb and uh, garlic. Now I've already got my flour here which I'm going to salt. A good pinch of salt and now into my egg wash I'm going to add some sweet paprika. Get some of this uh, Angus roast beef to start off with and if I need more I will start using it. Now it's already been shaved fairly thinly for you but what I want to do is I'm going to dip it into the flour then the egg then the crumbs and I'm going to slightly fry it in oil and we're going to use it in a wrap. Now I've whipped up the egg uh, quite nicely and into that I'm adding a little bit of water. Now that's ready to go and I'm going to go over to the stove and heat up my skillet. Now I'm going to crumb the roast beef. So I've dipped it in the flour. I'm going to now dip it in the egg. It's best to use your hands for this and then into the crumbed into the uh, crumbs. Now I've made a few here, so I'm just going to wash my hands, rinse my hands. Now I've already put a plate here with some absorbent paper to drain any excess oil. So into the pan we're going to fry these beautiful uh, Angus roast beef. Now no need to put too many. Now I probably can fit three in there. I'm going to just fry that very lightly. Mm. I 
can smell the garlic and the herb crumbs. Now I know this is going to be so yummy, especially with that salsa uh, and cream Philadelphia cheese. Now I'm going to turn that because I think that's nicely crumbed on one side. Turn it onto the other side. Mmm. It's looking really yummy. Now, it's only going to be a couple of uh, minutes on each side, and then we can drain it and start preparing the roll. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. Mmm, and that crumb smell. Now, remember I told you about the flat out bread? Now, I I believe this is uh, a new product on the market and it's beautiful. Look at it. It's almost like an oblong shape. And look at it. Mmm. Smells great too. Now I'm going to use this as the base to wrap up my nice goodies. So I've already made the salsa. So I'm going to take a good amount, a luscious amount, and I'm going to spread it like so. Make sure that you get it right to the edges. Now you want a generous amount because this is an entree. Now I think that's good. And look how beautiful this has turned out. Now I'm going to pop that onto the bread like so. I think three would be enough. If I could fit four, I would. Now I'm also going to add some Havati cheese. Now the reason I chose Havati cheese is um, it's just got a lovely flavor. I mean you could use uh, Swiss if you like Swiss cheese, but I think Havati cheese goes really well with this. Now on top of that, I'm going to add a little bit of shredded lettuce. Mm. I just can't wait to sink my tea and lips around this. And then on top of that, add a few cremini mushrooms. Now I'm going to also sprinkle a little bit of the garlic mince. I need to roll this baby because I am so hungry, I want to eat it. Now this is going to be a huge meal on its own. Now, there we go. And the roll's done. And there you have it, my crumbed Angus cocktail rolls. They look so cute and they are massive, I tell you. So I'm going to try this and the best way to go about it is with your knife and fork. So I'm going to remove the little olive over there. Oh, I just don't know where to start. Mm -mm. I got it on my plate and it's yummy and moist, I can tell. Mm. The jalapeno gives it a beautiful flavor with the tomatoes and the onions and the cream cheese. Oh, wow. And that um, garlic and herb breadcrumbs that I put onto the Angus roast beef, it just works marvelous. The bread just falls apart. It's not like as if you're eating bread. And the cheese, everything is just a perfect, perfect blend. And I really hope you'll try this at home because it's so good for you. It's nutritious, it's healthy, and it's yummy. What more do you want? Now, I hope I will see you in Savannah, Georgia, Paula, because I have put in a lot of dishes and I really, really love to cook. And I want to cook for you. So... Take care, good night, and hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye.